Hello friends, welcome to the channel Psychotech Score 100%. In this video, I am going to discuss about neurodevelopmental disorders, its types, causes, diagnosis, and the consequences. So let us start the video and understand what is neurodevelopmental disorder. Neurodevelopmental disorders are impairment of the growth and development of the brain and or central nervous system. The term refers to a disorder of brain function that affects emotion, learning ability, self-control and memory which unfolds as an individual develops and grows. The effect of neurodevelopmental disorders tend to last for a person's lifetime. Now let us have a look at the types of neurodevelopmental disorders. First we'll look the types and after that we'll discuss one by one in detail. The first type of neurodevelopmental disorder is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder that is ADHD. Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD Intellectual Disabilities Learning Disorders Global Developmental Delay Communication Disorders Motor Disorders and Traumatic Brain Injury First of all, let us discuss in detail about Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder that is ADHD So, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder is a Neurodevelopmental Disorder which is characterized by inattention or excessive activity and impulsivity. Some individuals with ADHD also display difficulty regulating emotions or problem with the executive function. So for a diagnosis, the symptoms should appear before a person is 12 years old, be present for more than 6 months and cause problem in at least two settings such as school, home or recreational activities. In children, problem paying attention may result in poor school performance. So additionally, it is also associated with other mental disorder and substance misuse. Although it causes impairment, uh, particularly in modern society, many people with ADHD can have sustained attention for tasks they find interesting or rewarding, which is also known as hyperfocus. The next type is autism spectrum disorder, which is also called as ASD. This disorder is characterized by persistent deficits in social interaction and communication in multiple life areas as well as uh, restricted and repetitive patterns of behaviors. The DSM specifies that uh, symptoms of autism spectrum disorder must be present during the early developmental period and uh, that these symptoms must cause significant impairment in important areas of life including social and occupational functioning. The autism spectrum encompasses a range of neurodevelopmental conditions including autism and Asperger syndrome generally known as autism spectrum disorder. Individuals on the autism spectrum typically experience difficulties with social communication and interaction and may also exhibit restricted repetitive patterns of behavior, interest and activities. If we talk about the symptoms, so the symptoms are typically recognized between 1 and 2 years of age in boys. However, many children are not diagnosed until they are older. It is also common for diagnosis to be received as an adolescent or as an adult. The term spectrum refers to the variation in the type and severity of symptoms. So those in the mild range are typically able to function independently with some difficulties while those with the moderate to severe symptoms may require more substantial support in their daily lives. Long term problems may include difficulties in daily living such as managing schedules, hypersensitivities, creating and keeping relationships and managing jobs. The next type is intellectual disability. The intellectual disability also known as general learning disability and formerly mental retardation that is MR is a generalized neurodevelopmental disorder which is characterized by significantly impaired intellectual and adaptive functioning. It is defined by an IQ under 70 in addition to deficits in two or more adaptive behaviors that affect everyday general living. Intellectual functions are defined under DSM-5 as reasoning, problem solving, planning, abstract thinking, judgment, academic learning and learning from instructions and experience and practical understanding confirmed by both clinical assessment and standardized test. Adaptive behavior is defined in terms of conceptual, social and practical skills involving tasks performed by people in their everyday lives. The next type is learning disability. 
लर्निंग डिसेबिलिटी और लर्निंग डिसऑर्डर और लर्निंग डिफिकल्टी इज अ कंडीशन इन द ब्रेन दैट कॉजेज डिफिकल्टीज कम्प्रहेंडिंग और प्रोसेसिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड कैन कोज बाय सेवरल डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स गिवन द डिफिकल्टी लर्निंग इन अ टिपिकल मैनर दिस डज नॉट एक्सक्लूड द एबिलिटी टू लर्न इन अ डिफरेंट मैनर देर फोर सम पीपल कैन बी मोर एक्यूरेटली डिस्क्राइब एज हैविंग अ लर्निंग डिफरेंस दस एवॉइडिंग एनी मिसकनसेप्शन ऑफ बींग डिसेबल्ड विद अ लैक ऑफ एबिलिटी टू लर्न एंड पॉसिबल नेगेटिव स्टीरियो टाइपिंग इन द यूनाइटेड किंगडम द टर्म लर्निंग डिसेबिलिटी जनरली रेफर्स टू एन इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटी वाइल डिफिकल्टीज सच एज डिसलेक्सिया एंड डिस्प्रेक्सिया आर यूजली रेफर टू एज लर्निंग डिफिकल्टीज द नेक्स्ट टाइप इज ग्लोबल डेवलपमेंटल डिले This diagnosis is for developmental disabilities in children who are under the age of five. Such delays relate to cognition, social functioning, speech, language, and motor skills. Global developmental delay is generally seen as a temporary diagnosis applying to kids who are uh, still too young to take standardized IQ tests. Once children reach the age where they are able to take a standardized intelligence test. they may be diagnosed with an intellectual disability the next type of neurodevelopmental disorder is communication disorders this disorder are those that impact the ability to use understand or detect language in speech the delays and disorder can range from simple sound substitution to the inability to understand or use one's native language The DSM-5 identifies four different subtypes of communication disorders which are language disorder, speech sound disorder, childhood onset fluency disorder which is also called stuttering and social that is pragmatic communication disorder. Next type of disorder is motor disorder. Motor disorder are disorders of the nervous system that cause abnormal and involuntary movements. They can result from damage to the motor system. motor disorders are defined in the fifth edition of diagnosis and statistical manual of mental disorder that is dsm5 the dsm5 motor disorders include developmental coordination disorder stereotyping movement disorder and the tic disorders including tourette syndrome the next type of disorder is traumatic brain injury also known as uh, intracranial injury uh, which is an injury to the brain caused by an external force TBI can be classified based on severity uh, which is ranging from mild traumatic brain injury to severe traumatic brain injury and mechanism which is closed or penetrating head injury or other features for example occurring in a specific location or over a wide spread area head injury is a broader category that may involve damage to other structures such as the scalp and the skull TBI can result in physical cognitive social emotional and behavioral symptoms and outcomes can range from complete recovery to permanent disability or death causes of traumatic brain injury include falls vehicular collision and violence brain trauma occurs as a consequence of a sudden acceleration or deceleration within the cranium or by a complex combination of both that is moment and sudden impact in addition to the damage caused at the moment of injury a variety of events following the injury may result in further injury these processes include alteration in cerebral blood flow and pressure within the skull some of the imaging techniques used for diagnosis include tomography that is ct and magnetic resonance imaging that is mri now having talked about different types of neurodevelopmental disorders let us talk about consequences of neurodevelopmental disorders the multitude of neurodevelopmental disorders span a wide range of associated symptoms and severity resulting in different degrees of mental emotional physical and economic consequences for individuals and in turn families social group and the society now let us talk about causes the development of the nervous system is tightly regulated and timed and it is influenced by both the genetic programs and the environment any significant deviation from the normal developmental trajectory early in life can result in missing or abnormal neuronal architecture or connectivity because of the temporal and spatial complexity of the developmental trajectory there are many potential causes of neurodevelopmental disorders 
that may affect different areas of nervous system at different times and ages. This range from uh, social deprivation, genetic and metabolic diseases, immune disorders, infectious diseases, nutritional factors, physical trauma, and toxic and environmental factors. Some neurodevelopmental disorders such as autism and other pervasive developmental disorders are considered multifactorial syndromes which have many causes that converge to a more specific neurodevelopmental manifestation. So till now we have discussed uh, what is neurodevelopmental disorders, its types, consequences and causes. Now let us discuss about the diagnosis of neurodevelopmental disorders. Neurodevelopmental disorders are diagnosed by evaluating the presence of characteristic symptoms of behavior in a child, typically after a parent, guardian, teacher or other responsible adult has raised concerns to a doctor. And neurodevelopmental disorders may also be confirmed by genetic testing. Traditionally, disease-related genetic and uh, genomic factors are detected by karyotype analysis which detects clinically significant genetic abnormalities for 5% of children with a diagnosed disorder. As of 2017, CMA that is chromosomal microarray analysis was proposed to replace karyotyping because of its ability to detect smaller chromosome abnormalities and copy number variants leading to greater diagnostic yield in about 20% of cases. The American College of Medical genetics and genomics and the american academy of pediatrics recommend cma as a standard of care in the us so this is all about neurodevelopmental disorders its types consequences causes and the diagnosis see you in the next video with a new type of disorder till then take care bye bye